say it like that If I hate you then I'm someone new Maybe but you know I never will No So I choke you down just like a We are in Ohio. I just finished up a photo shoot. Um, Bodybuilding.com works with a company called Train Magazine, and it's just a magazine, but they wanted to rebrand their magazine slash make it match their website. So they asked a bunch of us girls on Bodybuilding.com to model today. Luckily, I came in a day ahead of time. I have a funny story for you guys. After I go get some coffee, I had a very rushed morning. I woke up late. I had to get here, I rushed here, and I wasn't able to eat or get any caffeine, so this is a necessary part of the day. I'm gonna go get some coffee. story of the day so yesterday my flight was at sometime in the afternoon and I got a coffee before the flight no sorry it was in the morning the flight was in the morning I hadn't had coffee before I left <sighs> hadn't had any coffee before I left so I got a coffee at the airport right got a coffee at coffee bean I got a Medium coffee, four Splenda, splash of unsweetened almond milk. We're about to board the flight. I get to my seat. <sighs> and once I get to my seat, I still have my coffee in my hand. I have to do something with the coffee so I can put my bag underneath the seat up in front of me. So I decided to put the coffee in the little pouch. When you go on a plane, there's a little pouch in the seat in front of you. I decided to put a full coffee in that thing. Stupid, stupid, stupid. All right, so after I put my coffee in the pouch, the coffee came pouring all over my bag and in that bag was my laptop the bag was open the coffee came spilling like a waterfall into the bag that housed my laptop that being said catch you guys down here that being said I tried to wipe it off as best I could I did not salvage the laptop. I went to Apple immediately after I got off the flight. That was my first stop off the plane. Water damage, liquid damage does not really cover you under warranty. So I had to pay to get it fixed. It cost about half as much to get it fixed than it does that it cost me the actual laptop that I bought in May. But it's all good because be a thermostat, not a thermometer. That's the way I live my life. I try to not react to what happens to me. I try to change the environment around me instead of just react like a thermometer would do. It just reacts to, it tells you like whether or not you're hot or cold, right? The thermostat makes it hot or cold. You change the environment. You make yourself happy or you make yourself sad based off of how you react to things. So it is what it is. Shit happens. That's kind of like my other motto. Like sometimes shit just happens and that sucks. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to dwell on it. I actually have a busy weekend upcoming with the Arnold. So not too worried about content. I have Austin to help me with the videos. So you guys are still getting them on time. You guys have noticed that I didn't miss a video. So yeah, that's what happened. And this morning I woke up super, super late. I almost didn't make this photo shoot. I was a little late, but Again, at the end of the day, it's all how you react to things, and I'm visualizing the rest of the weekend just going smoothly, being fun and enjoyable. I'm spending time with friends, I'm meeting you guys, and that's how I'm envisioning the rest of the weekend. It's not gonna be this bad, negative thing just because something shitty happened uh, on my flight. So, I'm gonna finish this workout and I'll catch you guys in a sec. Bunch of squat booties. <laughs> Just a couple butts. Say hi to all, all the butts. Taylor's butt's looking good lately. Oh, Turn around. There it is. That's like the best compliment of my life. Especially coming from a man. 
<laughs> no, since the last time I saw you, been Can't killing it, girl. Everyone looks so cute. <laughs> Chloe, let me see your makeup. Look at your beautiful face. I know. Oh Alright guys, we just got to the Airbnb, so I'm going to show you guys around a little bit. I'm excited. It's really, really cute in here, so let's get started from the beginning. Alright, so you walk in. How cute is this? That's Ohio, if you guys didn't know. There's like a little cute desk, a bathroom right there. It's a weird little area. Walk in and there's a kitchen and there's a beautiful view of a tree. Um, I ate this because I haven't eaten anything yet all day and they have some bananas but they're really not ripe like that one's kind of ripe but they have this so I was like meh. Kitchen, really cute. Fridge, living area. I didn't turn the light on yet but this is a bedroom. Marie, Val, and Kara will be in here. It's actually so cute. Looks like a little balcony over there too but I don't know if we can get onto that but anyway. So cute, little bedroom. And then... The last room is Brian and I's room. We have a nice fireplace that we can't light, but it's okay. And then a bed. It's like pretty spacious in here. Really, really nice. So very excited about that. My bite meals were supposed to be here by the time I got here. They got delivered yesterday at 1ish and now it's 3 p.m. the next day. It looks like they were just stolen because they're not here. So I have to head to the grocery store. I really hope whoever got them was someone that needed food <laughs> um, because I can just go to the grocery store. It's not a big deal. I've eaten a Power Crunch bar today and then that bag of Doritos and it's like almost 4 p.m. So I'm very, I'm, I'm breaking the rule and I'm going to the grocery store hung hungry, but I don't really have a choice. So head to the grocery store. All right, so we got chocolate rice cakes, olive oil cooking spray, Halo Top oatmeal cookie, and chocolate chip cookie dough, Splenda, and Himalayan sea salt, because you don't know if Airbnbs are going to have all of the cooking things that you want and need. Egg whites, peanut butter, lower sugar oatmeal, cinnamon toast crunch. I got myself a hot meal of chicken, rice, and veggies, but it's kind of oily, and like, I don't know if I'm going to eat it. We'll see. Cinnamon toast crunch, almond milk, crunchy yogurt, Diet Mountain Dew, and a bunch of apples for everybody. Right, guys, I just got my makeup done. It looks amazing. Hope you guys can see this lighting in the apartment here is great. My makeup artist for the day, Caroline. Hi. Say hello. She does a wonderful job, and this is her <laughs> fiance, Justin. Hey. Kills it. Both of you guys follow them on Instagram if you're looking for a makeup artist in Kansas City. Kansas City, Missouri. Potentially Miami. <laughs> we'll see. At some point. <laughs> Maybe possibly. Maybe possibly. Anyways, we are almost ready to head to the expo. All right, we're just getting our badges. I don't know where they are. When you work at the expo, you don't have to wait in line, I guess. You get badges. I'm kind of nervous. I always get nervous. Always, always nervous. These butterflies every time. <laughs> butterflies. Good, fam. Marie and I have to pee. Whoop. I see me. There I am. So close yet so far. Hey. Hi. Hi, babe. It's what are your names? What is it again? Rio. Rio and Anne. And technology nowadays is so cool. I just signed with my finger. Thanks for reading, guys. I appreciate the support. That's awesome. Very cool. Thank you. Hey, guys. This is Macy, and she has been following me for a long time. And then I got to sign her phone case. It wasn't the actual iPhone, though, just the case. No, just the case. <laughs> so, hey, hi, everyone. Quick, ignore 
am I talking? What's up guys? Successful first day at the expo. I am. It's like 5 p.m. I think. 5.26. I had a wonderful day today. I met so many super nice people and people that have been following me forever. People that like the podcast. People that have been following the YouTube videos. And I don't know. It's just every single time it's just like makes me so happy. It makes my heart really full. I'm so happy. But unfortunately I got zero hours of sleep last night. Some sort of jet lag. I don't know. And I saw a bunch of other people on Twitter saying that they didn't sleep last night either. Like Emily Hayden and Steve Cook both said that they got zero sleep last night too. So maybe there was something going on in the universe. But regardless, I'm gonna go take a quick nap before the evening festivities. We have made it to, to the gym. What are we lifting today? Everything, uh, upper body. Besides back. Aside from that. So guys, yesterday I did not get to <laughs> go to the gym because I was taking a nap, which was not fitspo at all. So we're going to the gym early today before the expo starts. Going to an LA fitness and we're gonna actually lift. Science outfit of the day. Bra, blue bra, mesh shirt, black leggings, and some socks. Brian's wearing that too, right? Mesh, mesh shirt. Massive tripod is not necessary. This is what I end up doing with my hair. Just little, the little braids. Makes my life easier. <laughs> and then I did my own makeup today. Are you ready? Let's do it. You said it. Shortly. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Everybody say hi! I told her to start 
YouTube channel, I was like, you're gonna kill it immediately. It's all because of Amanda. What's up guys? It is the end of Expo weekend. I am headed into day three. It's Sunday today and headed into the Expo very shortly, but I just want to wrap up this video. I wanted to talk about just all of the things that went wrong this weekend, like uh, just a million other things that went south for whatever particular reason. Once I got to the Expo and started like meeting you guys and hearing your stories and we talked about how I may have like changed perspective for some people in their lives and how they go about living them in terms of like their fitness and eating and positive mindset, positive body image, all of those things. It just re-reminded me why I uh, am here and why there's a purpose for everything and that even though when little things go wrong, you can't let that affect the rest of your day because it's just, I like I said in my last video, it's just all about perspective. It's all about just not allowing those certain things to win and to take power power and happiness away from you because if you let them if you let that happen then it's going to just affect the rest of your day and affect the rest of your life and I've talked about that with a few people at the expo um just certain things like not letting them take power away from you because if you give into that sadness and that frustration it's just giving whatever that situation is all of the power and it's taking it away from you so I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who came out to the Arnold and met me this weekend and that's going to be all I have for this video so I'll catch you guys in the next one